Hi everyone. In this demo, we'll show you how the new migration tool in Altrix Server 24.2 simplifies moving data connections and workflows to DCM. Before this release, the migration process was a manual, time-consuming thing. Each data connection and workflow had to be updated individually, making it challenging to implement consistently across your Altrix server. Now, with just a few steps, you can automate much of the process and move to DCM seamlessly. Let's walk through it. Imagine you have a data connection called my alias on your Altrix server. It's shared with individual users and user groups, and you'd like to migrate this connection to DCM for easier management and enhanced security. In this exercise, we'll link data connection to an existing DCM connection that is pre-configured with the correct credentials. Once linked, workflows using my alias will automatically update to work with DCM. Let's go through a connection migration process. In the Altrix server UI, locate my alias in the data connections tab and select migrate to DCM. This opens a migration dialog where we'll match my alias to an appropriate DCM connection. In the dialog, DCM connections are grouped by match type to simplify the selection. Exact match, connections with identical connection strings to my alias. Unresolved vault match, connection using credentials in an external vault. Partial match, connections with similar but not identical connection strings or unmatched, other DCM connections on the server. Here, user 001 is automatically selected since it is an exact match to my alias. You can change this if needed, but the tool pre-selects the best match. Next, enable share with existing users to replicate my alias's sharing settings in DCM, ensuring that all previous users and groups keep access to this connection. After confirming, the my alias data connection is now managed in DCM. From here on, permissions and sharing adjustments are handled directly in DCM, simplifying future updates. Now that my alias is migrated, let's update the workflows using it to also use the DCM connection. From the Data Connections page, choose Migrate Workflows to DCM. A dialog will prompt you to start the process across all workflows on the server referencing my alias. During the migration, a progress indicator appears on the top of the page. When complete, you'll see a summary. You can see a three statuses available for you in the summary. Successfully migrated, workflows where my alias has been updated with a DCM connection. Skipped, workflows that don't reference my alias or lack DCM connection match. Or failed, workflows that could not be migrated due to insufficient access or other issues. Each workflow is versioned automatically, keeping a history of changes. If needed, a detailed migration log is available in the gallery that provides insight to all past workflows and operations performed. With my alias and the workflows now migrated to DCM, all permissions, updates, and connection details are managed directly within DCM. This centralizes data connection management and adds a layer of security and scalability as your data needs grow. In Designer, workflows still reference my alias, but all settings and permissions are not controlled in DCM. This makes it easy to make adjustments in DCM without needing to update workflows individually. Here are some post-migration tips. If additional workflows are created with my alias, you can rerun the migration at any time to ensure that all workflows on the server are updated with DCM. Also, if you need it, the gallery logs provide a detailed breakdown of the migration, allowing you to verify each step and check for any skipped or failed workflows. In a few straightforward steps, you're now set to leverage the power of centralized, secure data connection management with DCM on Altrix server. Thank you for watching and enjoy a smooth transition to DCM.